In this short video, we're going to talk about the concrete compression curve. So you can see here a typical, this typical shape for a stress strain curve for concrete and compression. And it has some of the, the following characteristics where we have an initial slope of uh, either a tangent modulus or a secant modulus, depending on uh, how you measure it. We'll have uh, an ultimate concrete strength, F prime C, a stress at the maximum or a strain at the maximum stress, uh, epsilon naught, and then epsilon ultimate is our ultimate strain. Uh, typically we use uh, the secant modulus for our uh, initial slope, which we'll typically take as 57,000 times the square root of F prime C. And this is where F prime C is in PSI. Uh, our curve shape will typically be parabolic, at least up to the uh, ultimate uh, stress. And our strain at ultimate is typically around uh, 0 0.002. or uh, 3 to 6 KSI. The, uh, the descending branch is typically taken as linear and it will depend on the strength of the uh, concrete as to you know, how, how this descending branch will uh, happen. So if we have a higher strength concrete we'll have a more vertical uh, descending branch versus a lower strength concrete. 